All right, it is horribly hot and humid out here. My glasses are fogging up. And this is the Makita EA5600F Ridgeline. Um, this, I think that you can still buy them online at Home Depot. Home Depot online. I know that you can still get them various places like on eBay and uh, Amazon. You can still buy them brand new. They are very affordable, coming in at under $500. And the only one that I have ran is the one that's sitting over there in the back of Stubby that you can't see, but we're gonna see it here shortly. That one ran whenever I got it, and I did a muffler mod on it, and then put it in the wood. So I've only ran one of these with a muffler mod. This one right here did not run, and I just checked it out, and what it needed was a coil. I got three of these things, and the third one was just a uh, short block, really. Long block, but it wasn't a complete power head. Uh, had a piston, cylinder, coil, flywheel, all that jazz, uh, just for parts. And I'm glad I did because this guy here needed the coil. So I have put the new coil on here. It is, um, it should be ready to go. And we'll see how she cuts. I'm gonna do some uh, warm up cuts over here, fine tune it. Okay, so we're gonna take that barn chain off, put it on the other one that has a muffler mod. Come with me now. Whoo, she's smoking. It's not hot, so. I think I had it tuned about as good as can be. Probably got it, because it had a coil uh, problem, I uh, definitely flooded it out. And so we're probably just burning off a bunch of excess fuel that's still in the uh, inside the muffler. But yeah, it's smoking, I can smell it. Now this one right here, Ran good whenever I got it. However, um, the guy that I got these from, or somebody along the line, had done a little bit of um, work to it of some sort and cross-threaded the, the bolts. Cross-threaded the bolts for the muffler. And so I had to re-thread 
get that off of there. I had to re-thread the uh, muffler bolts in the cylinder head. But it works just fine. I drilled them out and tapped. I think it's, uh, I did eight millimeter bolts, I think. I don't know. Just know that this is gonna be the giveaway saw. And if you get it, yeah, the muffler has been, the muffler bolts in the cylinder head have been re-threaded. But anyways, I mean, just right off the cuff there with that quick little run, this muffler modded version is significantly more powerful than the non-muffler modded version. But so far from what I have been concluding, these are really nice saws. And at that price range, the only thing that can touch it, I, th I think is, is the Echo Timberwolf. Cause I think you can get these still for like 469, something like that. Um, it is a plastic clamshell saw, but the engine layout is fully encased in, um, in, you know, in metal, and it, the, the cylinder itself has a flat base on it, or at least a machinable one. It doesn't have the bearing pockets, so it's still got remnants of pro quality in it. So, let's see, I got the screwdriver, yep. All right, here we go. We'll have to do some warm-up cuts and possibly a little tuning in this with this one as well. The chain is a 24-inch uh, um, Husqvarna C83. Oh, I haven't started this one at all today, so. What is that squeak? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to take this saw right here and I'm going to port it. Now don't get me wrong, I don't have plans of doing a real hardcore port job, but maybe whenever I get in there, I think plans will change. But my guess is this cylinder needs minuscule amounts of correction. And so I'm going to go do that right now and we'll see what we come up with and uh, go from there. Yeah. 
So I think it'll pour it up nicely and I think we'll get a little bit more gains out of it. But a lot of these saws, especially the modern ones, this is very much a modern saw. I believe it came out in 2019. Uh, uh, the companies have gotten real hip, you know, to how to make these things strong and fast. And so what that means is, um, a lot of porters won't tell you this, but most of the time, whenever a modern saw is being ported, almost 100% of the gains are with the muffler mod. And that's it. The port work didn't get shit. <laughs> um, so I have experienced it myself with the Husqvarna 545. Um, in order to get bigger gains out of these modern saws, you have to employ heavy machine work on the cylinder and uh, even still you may not get gains so uh, here the purpose of this is to see stock saw versus muffler mod versus muffler mod and porting so that we can see how much gains came from the muffler mod versus how much came from the actual port work so we'll see hopefully we'll be able to pick up much my guess is We'll get 20 to 30% on the muffler mod, and we'll get 5 to 10% extra on top of that from uh, porting. So here we go. actually pretty darn close so we'll see what the port job does who knows maybe it'll do a lot maybe it'll do a little maybe it won't do anything we'll see <laughs> 